This is lesson three, Bitcoin is an anti-fragile phenomenon. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at why Bitcoin benefits from disorder and turbulence in national economies. Let's begin. Now you may have heard of the term anti-fragile before, and it was popularized by Nassim Talib in his Black Swan and Anti-Fragile publications. And he describes anti-fragile as a term which describes something which benefits from shock. It thrives and grows when exposed to volatility, randomness, disorder, stressors, and risks. And this we can actually see is very relatable to Bitcoin because Bitcoin seems to be absorbing some of the uncertainty and some of the shock in national economies. And this can be witnessed in events and bank runs such as what happened in March 2013 with the Cyprus bank run. Bitcoin absorbs and benefits from this disorder and these risks in the national economy. Nassim Talib actually comment on Bitcoin himself relating it to the anti-fragile property and he said Bitcoin is the beginning of something great, a currency without a government, something necessary and imperative. Now, economic crises for the time being seem to be Bitcoin's gain. And as we just spoke about, Cyprus crises caused individuals to seek a haven where they could store their money. Furthermore, Talib describes these anti-fragile phenomenons being resistant to top-down controls and instead it is a very bottom-up grassroots sort of movement that governs these networks in relation to Bitcoin it is a completely bottom-up control design and this is because the majority of the network needs to agree on changes to the protocol in order for them to take place This brings us to the conclusion of our lesson today. For an in-depth discussion on why Bitcoin is an anti-fragile phenomenon, read our analysis at diginomics.com slash Bitcoin anti-fragile phenomenon. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next lesson.